that I'm showing you now, and you can see that the difference, um, it's extreme now because it's a screenshot, it's, you know, it's, it's not live footage, but I recorded an 8-bit video, and then I did a 32-bit of the same video, and I put it full screen, walked away, came back, and I couldn't tell the difference of which one was which. So 8-bit is what I'm using now, and the reason is because when you render it, 8-bit is literally half the time in rendering than 32-bit. You know, if I render a video, it's 10 minutes long, it's going to take me, you know, something like, you know, two hours or some nonsense, 32-bit. But with 8-bit, you're getting the same quality pretty much, and you're going to be getting, um, you know, it's going to take you half the time to render it, which is a big major plus for me. Uh, full resolution rendering quality, obviously best. You want to get the best that you can. Motion blur type. Um, you can change this to any you want, but I leave it on Gaussian because you won't notice a difference, so don't even worry about it. Deinterlaced method, none. This isn't an interlaced video, it's not a camcorder. So when you get all these settings, uh, you can go ahead and save it. Uh, save the template, name it whatever you want. I just named mine WoW2, whatever. And click on the start all new projects with these settings so that when you do start a new project, it'll have these settings already. Uh, go ahead and go on over to audio and audio is something that's also somewhat important uh, for quality um, stereo obviously um, 44,100 is the sample rate that I use and reason being is because uh, most of my audio um, as you can see right here is actually um, 44,000 you know here's a whatever song that I've used it's 44,100 you know Hertz stereo uh, you know mp3 192 kilobytes per second and some of these things um, they do change uh, from 128 to something you know, 192 160 so because of that I just leave my audio settings um, when in the rendering options at at the 44,100 but also 320 kilobytes per second I'll show you that later a uh, bit depth 16 you know we're not making fucking Justin Timberlake music here um, resample and stretch quality best and start a new project these settings and that's it for your project settings so now that you've got you know your uh, you've got your video whatever you want to make good to go um, this is opens render as and save it wherever you want name it whatever you want but for save as type uh, we're going to be using uh, x264 VFW codec because I found that it's the best um, I've I'll show you uh, screenshots of different renders and you'll see the difference in quality um, but, but for now I'll just show you how to do it uh, video for Windows and what you're gonna do is um, go to custom and you're gonna name it x264 first pass so you can name it whatever you want but as long as you know that it's the first pass because you're gonna have two pass a two pass system here a uh, video rendering quality best uh, just get audio out of the way include audio lame mp3 you'll see that choose it uh, 44,100 hertz, 320 kilobytes per second. Uh, the difference in size from 320 to to the normal 192 is is mediocre, so don't even worry about it. Um, it's minimal. So video, here's video. Include video, obviously. Uh, you can just you know frame size, use project settings. Uh, just you know less hassle. But you can see it's 1680 by 1050. Frame rate here um, they don't have 30 so you just type it in 30 point zero 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 whatever and field order none progressive scan again not interlaced video pixel aspect ratio one uh, we're gonna go down to interleave every seconds point two five zero should already be defaulted to this um, create an open DML AVI version 2.0 compatible file and video format you see a whole bunch of options here. The one you want is X264 VFW. 
which is also H.264. Uh, um, click that and then go to configure. And there's three tabs, main, analysis, encoding, rate, and control. Leave everything at default for these two tabs. Uh, for the main tab, you're going to select the drop down window here. And uh, this is your first pass, so you're going to be doing a two pass system. So you choose multi pass, and this is your first pass, so you choose first pass. Now, I have, uh, I was messing around with some settings there, but my normal settings are 4500. I forgot to change it back. Um, I'll show you some screenshots also towards the end of the tutorial on the differences. So you choose 4500, leave everything else default, don't even worry about it. Click OK and save it as you know x264 or whatever but just as long as you know it's the first pass so you save it boom good to go click ok and then you click custom again and everything should still be the same best audio is the same video should all be the same and what you're going to do differently is click on configure again and then this time go to multi-pass nth pass and this is um, basically this is going to be your 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 second pass you choose nth pass 4500 again click ok save it as you know i have it as nth, nth pass whatever save it and boom you're good to go so you save your video uh, whatever and it'll start to render a x264 vfw log console will pop up and you'll usually get no respond, not responding or whatever from it, as you can see there. Don't even worry about it, just minimize it, ignore it, it's, it doesn't matter. Alright, so your video is done rendering, and that's the first pass. You're just going to click close, and unfortunately you have to do this manually, but I think it's worth it because the quality is just much better. Go back to render as, find the video that you just rendered, and you'll see that it's very small, it's 430 kilobytes. The reason is because this is a two-pass system. It's better than a single pass because a single pass goes into the render um, basically blind, and it doesn't know where everything's at already. It doesn't know where to put things, and it, the quality is not going to be as good as it could be. Two-pass, uh, the first one goes in there. It's basically just mapping out your your render job that you're going to be doing, and it's putting everything. It knows where everything is so that when it goes in there for the second render, it knows um, where everything's going to be at and it's going to be better quality. So you go change it to nth pass here and your file name has to be exactly the same as the one you just did and the easiest way to do that is just click on it and it'll put the file name in there um, you know nth pass whatever and you're going to click save and this will pop up um, blah 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 whatever the name is already exists do you want to overwrite click on yes and when you overwrite it's, it's the second pass, it's the final uh, render, and it'll finish the job. Alright, now as I said earlier, I was going to be showing you some um, differences in bitrate, and here they are. Um, I originally um, started out doing WoW videos like everybody, like all the tutorials that are already out there, and most of them are, you know, hey, use Windows Media v uh, Video 9, and what have you. But... Uh, what I found to be the best was X264 codec, and as you can see the difference here, I'm using XVID, uh, Windows Media Video, uh, and also uh, Gingas's tutorial using the AVC uh, option. The only way that I could get Gingas's um, version of rendering to to even come close to matching was uh, to increase the the bit rate to you know something way too high and the file size came out to almost basically double uh, what mine is so also here is uh, the differences in bit rate itself with the x264 codec um, as you can see I, I ended up choosing 4500 I did a few tests with the different different settings but um, 4500 uh, worked out fine with me because I figured you know hey uh, 4500 bitrate comes out to about 35 megabytes a minute um, and I was shooting for you know a 10 minute video with a reasonable size of 350 megabytes uh, that's something that's that's reasonable to me uh, if I was to go on Warcraft movies and download it so but you can see the difference from uh, 